this video, we're going to talk about Greeks. Greeks help traders understand how the option will likely move. For example, you already know the first one being theta or time decay. In this video, we're going to go over three new Greeks, Vega, Delta, and Gamma. Let's start with Vega. Vega is closely related with implied volatility. In fact, it is a measurement of how much the options value will increase or decrease for every 1% the IV moves. A Vega number is typically between 0 and 10 cents. For example, let's say the contract was $2 and has an IV of 25% and a Vega of 10 cents. Then, for every 1% the IV moves, the cost of the contract will go up or down by 10 cents. Say the IV went to 26%. Now, the contract would be worth $2.10. If it goes to 24%, the contract will be at $1.90. Vega can be helpful to get an idea of how much the extrinsic value will increase or decrease based on if you think there will be increasing or decreasing implied volatility. Next is Delta. There are two major ways to use Delta, either as an individual trade or seeing how your entire portfolio sits. First, let's discuss just a single trade. For a single options contract, the delta number is between 0 and 1. For calls and 0 and negative 1, for puts. The positive number indicates a bullish position, and a negative number indicates a bearish position. The delta can also be viewed as the percentage chance of the option ending in the money. You will notice on this options chain, the at the money contracts are 50 cents and negative 50 cents. That's telling me it has a 50-50 chance of ending in the money. You'll notice as we go further out of the money, the chance decreases. As we go in the money, it increases. The other way it can be viewed is as the amount the option contract will increase or decrease if the underlying stock moves $1. For example, in this options chain, SPY is at 383 and 63 cents and the 384 strike price is the closest at the money contract. That contract is sitting at $2.35. You can see the delta is at 50 cents. So if SPY goes up to 384 and 63 cents, the options contract will then be worth $2.85. You can actually see this on the options chain as the delta number is about the difference between each contract on SPY, since SPY strikes are a $1 increment. Now let's take a look at Delta again, but this time looking at it from a portfolio view. This could be seen as hedging or just finding a balance in your portfolio. If a trader is bullish, they will want to have their portfolio to have a positive Delta. If a trader is bearish, they will want their entire portfolio to have a negative Delta. And if they want it to be neutral, they'll want it to have a near zero delta. The way that you find this is by adding all the deltas together. So the range isn't necessarily zero to one because you're adding all of these together. For example, if you are in three different call positions that each have a delta of 50 cents, your deltas for the portfolio would be $1.50. Something else to remember though is that you have deltas for stock as well. Each share of stock you buy will be plus one delta, and each stock you sell will be negative one delta per share. So if I have my three options, each with 0.5 delta, that totals 1.5 deltas. But remember, options contracts are equivalent to 100 shares of stock. So when thinking about your portfolio deltas, you have to multiply the options delta by 100 to get the portfolio delta. In this case, my portfolio has 150 deltas and is bullish. 
If I want my account to be a little more neutral, I might short 100 shares of a stock, adding negative 100 deltas to my portfolio. Now that brings my portfolio to a positive 50 delta. There are tons of ways to balance out your deltas in your portfolio. It is a good way to gauge how bullish or bearish your overall portfolio is and tells you what kind of trades you might want to do to hedge or balance out your portfolio a little better. The last one I wanna go over is gamma. Gamma is closely related to delta as it is the rate at which the delta moves. The gamma is higher the closer it is to at the money. It is typically between zero and 10 cents. It is very easy to understand as we look at an options chain. You can see it is simply the difference in the deltas per $1 movement on the underlying asset. Here on SPY, each strike price is $1 apart. So you can see if you take the delta and add the gamma, then go up to the next strike price, it is equal to the next delta. Gamma is used to see how fast the delta is moving. Gamma and delta are commonly used for portfolios as a whole, especially with hedges. So those are the four most popular Greeks. Theta, also known as time decay. Vega, which tells you how much the contract will increase or decrease based off a 1% movement in IV. Delta can help you understand the movement of options or help you understand if your entire portfolio is bullish or bearish. It can also tell you what the chances of the options contract will end up in the money. Gamma tells you at what rate the delta will be moving. As you get further away from the at the money strike price, the gamma will be lower. I do want to mention I traded options for three years before completely understanding these Greeks. Some traders don't pay as much attention to them, but I'd say that the theta and delta are the key Greeks that you should know. And I'll see you in the next video.